What is going on guys? Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So we got numbers out of Nike and let me just tell you, man, they're not looking so good and Nike stock is falling pretty aggressively right now. So we have to dive into the actual earnings release. We'll break down the stock and the charts in this video and go over what I'm looking to do. So hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. And guys, if you haven't gotten your 15 free stocks yet for a Moomoo, each up to $2,000, I don't know what to tell you anymore just use that link down below or go to stasurfast.com slash mumu or check out the qr code right here get your stocks the clock's ticking and with that being said cheers let's dive right into the video so check it out it's about noon right now on the east coast on this beautiful friday afternoon guys by the way where are you watching this video from what country what city what state let me know in the comments and we have nike currently down almost eight percent you heard that right almost eight percent in the midst of an overall red day where we have the russell down one percent the s and p's down 0.1 percent the dow's down half a percent and we have the nasdaq pretty much at break even but it is leaning a little bit more towards the red so we can see here when the numbers initially came out yesterday guys for nike we did see a spike to almost a hundred ten dollars per share you guys can see here we hit 108 dollars per share that was at about 5 30 p.m and then we pretty much collapsed all the way down to about 93 dollars per share that was a drop of 15 bucks per share like that or about 14 percent and we've been bleeding ever since with the low of the day today being almost 92 dollars per share in fact it was $91 and almost 70 cents. So clearly we're down big time from that post earnings pop. And let me just read you the headline numbers very quickly here, guys. And then we'll dive into the actual earnings release. So let me see where are these headline numbers here we are guys adjusted eps came in at 98 cents which beat the 74 cents expected and sales also beat 12 looks like 12.42 billion dollars versus 12.28 billion expected so right off the bat guys nike beat eps and they be on revenue which you might think like okay they beat eps they beat revenue why is the stock down well let's dig a little bit deeper into the actual earnings release because again their stocks down eight percent now down over seven dollars and seventy cents on the day so let me pull this up and show you what is going on guys and by the way hit that like button and make sure to subscribe i appreciate you all for tuning in as always as this would not be possible without you guys you guys are awesome so right here we have the third quarter results as they reported their fiscal 2024 third quarter results and we can see here all the different numbers right so buckle up let's get into it so third quarter revenues like i said came in at 12.4 billion dollars slightly up on both a reported and currency neutral basis and nike direct revenues were 5.4 billion dollars slightly up on a reported and currency neutral basis as nike brand digital sales decreased three percent on on a reported basis and four percent on a currency neutral basis you guys can see that right here and wholesale revenues were 6.6 .6 billion dollars up three percent on a reported and currency neutral basis as gross margin increased 150 basis points to 44.8 percent including a detriment of 50 basis points due to restructuring charges and selling at an administrative expense uh, those expenses increased seven percent to 4.2 billion dollars including a 340 million dollar um, you know charge here looks like restructuring charges uh, so 340 million dollars there and diluted earnings per share were 77 cents including 21 cents of restructuring charges um, so excluding these charges diluted earnings per share would have been 98 cents so keep that in mind guys very important um, you know to mention that here and the CEO of Nike said quote we are making the necessary adjustments to drive Nike's next chapter of growth he said and we're encouraged by the progress we've seen as we build a multi-year cycle of new innovation sharpen our brand storytelling which I mean, guys, Nike 
this is a huge, huge storytelling brand. I mean, the whole driver of their brand, um, a lot of it is storytelling, um, you know, stuff like that, right? And they're working on working with their wholesale partners to elevate and grow the marketplace, which of course um, is big. Looks like Matthew Friend here, executive vice president and chief financial officer of Nike said, quote, our teams are focused on what matters most to return strong growth. And we are taking action or yeah, taking action to build a faster, more efficient Nike and maximize the impact of our new innovation cycle. And let me actually show you guys um, what they're looking like or how they're doing in different regions here. So it looks like here, um, ba -ba -da -ba, greater China. I want to talk about this a little bit more. Let me come down. Actually, looks like dividends of $562 million up 6% from the prior year. Pretty interesting there. Share repurchases of $866 million reflecting 7.9 million shares retired as part of the company's four year, $18 billion program approved by the board of directors back in June, 2022. So that's how they're on, um, you know, repaying shareholders uh, shareholders with dividends and share repurchases. And I want to show you guys the breakdown here by region. I was looking at it before. Where the heck is it? Come down here. Here we go, guys. So here we have Nike, um, the breakdown between North America, Europe, Middle East and Africa, Greater China, and of course, Asia Pacific and Latin America. So we can see here, and you guys probably know, they've been struggling in greater China, right? So let's run through this very quickly. At the top, we can see here when it comes to footwear, North America grew pretty nicely from $3.4 billion. Um, you guys can see here, these are sales, right? So $3.4 billion in sales. That was up from $3.32 billion last year. So not much growth in footwear, but a decent amount of growth there for North America year over year, a little bit. Apparel actually declined there from 14 19 so 1.419 billion dollars to now 1.408 billion dollars and we saw lululemon's earnings they came out and their stocks down like 20 percent right now yeah their growth has actually slowed down massively in north america lululemon's has i think year over year um they grew nine percent whereas i think the the previous um, you know, previous growth rate was 29%. So North American sales, when it comes to Lululemon, they're slowing down, which maybe I should make another video on that. But it looks like here we're seeing that on um, Nike as well. Equipment did grow from 172 million last year to 202 million this go around, which is good. And total guys, the sales grew 3% year over year in North America, which is I mean, it's not that much, pretty flat um, for that region there. That's their total sales, including footwear, apparel, and equipment, right? And coming down here a little bit more, we can see for Europe, Middle East, and Africa, footwear actually declined 3%. We saw a 3% decline in sales there. Apparel declined by 9% in Europe, Middle East, and Africa, and equipment on the flip side grew by 30%. You guys can see uh, from $141 million to $184 million, and now the total sales for that region last year, $3.2 billion, $3.24 billion roughly, and now $3.13 billion. So we decreased 3% there um, for Europe, Middle East, and Africa, and coming down a bit more to Greater China, we can see here footwear increased by 3% in Greater China from $1.496 billion to $1.547 billion, and apparel grew there by 8% from $461 to $498 million, and equipment from a whopping $37 million to $39 million. That was growth of 5% with the total region, Greater China region, growing 5% as well from $1.99 billion in the quarter last year to 2.08 billion um this go around and let me see here guys asia pacific and latin america um their total sales grew three percent year over year from 1.64 um billion uh or rather it was 1.60 billion last year now it came in at 1.64 so you guys can see we are seeing tremendous slowdown in growth um across all these regions essentially and we're seeing declines in um, you know, Middle East, Africa, and Europe, pretty flat in China, pretty flat in North America as well. 
Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? Are we going to bounce back? Are sales eventually going to bounce back here in Nike? I think obviously they will, but the question is, when is that going to happen? It seems like here, and I was reading in the Lululemon earnings release, the CEO, I believe, was saying more and more people are opting for experiences rather than buying expensive athletic gear. Because think about it. I mean, look, Nike, their clothes are not that uh, cheap, to, to say the least, especially if you're buying them from the Nike website or going... Um, you know, to a Nike store. Sure. If you're buying them at TJ Maxx or at raw stores or, you know, these discount retailers where you can get Nike for a really good deal. If you're buying them there, all right, that's different. But if you're going to a store, the Nike store, any other, you know, Dick sporting goods, whatever it may be, you're going to have to pay a pretty penny for uh, you know, Nike clothes. Same thing with Lululemon guys. And, uh, people are opting less for that more for experiences, according to Lulu CEO in that earnings release. And uh, that goes to show maybe the overall economy is not doing as great as one um, thought, where people aren't blowing as much money on clothes as they were before, and shoes, right? Things like that. And uh, Nike stock's been going through it, man. It was well over 100 bucks a while ago. It was at 180 bucks back in 2021, so almost three years ago at this point, two and a half years ago. Uh, but yeah, man, at this point we're down under a hundred bucks and Nike is officially down now from all time highs, almost 50%. So yeah, Nike has been cut in half guys. And a lot of people don't even, um, realize that, or maybe they do realize that, but they're brushing it under the rug. I don't know. But what I do know is this descending triangle we called out a couple of videos ago that played out and who knows, man, we could be going back to the mid high eighties on Nike. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Feel free to hit that like button and don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo, each up to $2,000. Just use that link down below. Check out the QR code right here or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least a hundred bucks, you get five stocks and fund it with at least a thousand dollars. You get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks each up to two thousand dollars so get on it guys the clock's ticking it's a no-brainer use that link down below get your stocks and with that being said cheers i'll catch you guys in the next video